Well, they just issued the sentencing, 120 months for Jeremy Hammond uh, for an act of nonviolent civil disobedience. I mean, it was an appalling sentence. It shows the utter breakdown of uh, our legal system and the fact that there is no way through the courts to confront the criminality of the state. Um, this judge is a federalist judge. She's an ideologue. And uh, she also is married to someone who's a lawyer and whose law firm works for Stafford. I mean, Stratford was a private security firm uh, that worked on behalf of the Marine Corps, the Defense Department, uh, the Pentagon, as well as large corporations like Dow Chemical and Raytheon. Uh, we saw from the email, three million email exchanges that were leaked by Hammond that there's a cross-pollinization between people who do security for uh, uh, corporations and people who do security for the state, uh, we saw that they had uh, spied on and infiltrated and heavily monitored the Occupy movement. That was one of the big things that came out of those leaks, uh, as well as other dissident groups. Uh, so here we have, in essence, uh, a private corporation, a private security corporation uh, that uh, is empowered on a, on a kind of wholesale level to eviscerate our privacy and our most uh, precious civil liberties with absolutely no control, no regulation, no because they're private. There's there's no oversight at all. And Hammond's uh, courageous act was to expose what these people had done to the public. Uh, and and the and the response of a court of a dysfunctional court uh, is to send him to prison for ten years. Well, the pro this is just another symptom of a dysfunctional state. And if you know if if you cannot carry out reform and oversight and regulation through the formal mechanisms of power, then history has shown you will, you will move your society further and further towards the road of violence. And that's what we're facing. The, the utter paralysis of the system to regulate itself uh, means, a, a, and the draconian sentences that are opposed on those who attempt, uh, in essence, to inform and protect the citizenry, which is what I think Hammond did, uh, it bodes very, very ill for where we're going.